Good morning, happy Thursday, and welcome to Dictation. Man, huh. I'm not gonna call him what everybody calls him. I'm gonna call him his proper title. President Donald J. Trump. Man. <sighs> and it's like, I've always liked Trump since the 80s when he would let Don King bring fights to his hotels. You know what I'm saying? I didn't see him as a racist back in the 80s. And I, there's been no case of him saying nigger. You nigger, you dirty nigger. He's never done that. And if he has, surely by now somebody would have released the tape. Especially since, you know, he was grabbing the pussy. Okay? So let me get this straight. I'm a, bl I'm a black man who likes Donald Trump for no other reason except for I always have from back when he was just a, a rich guy who was making money, being rich, that's it. So now he decides to run for president against Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders. Well then Hillary does Bernie dirty and Bernie loses the nomination or he, he uh, you know, concedes, you know what I'm saying? And then uh, it's, Trump versus Clinton. And then Hillary's campaign is basically, <laughs> look at this guy. Look how stupid he is. Watch what he's gonna say next. You know, and I mean, that was her campaign, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? I can't really recall anything she said, but it's not like I was paying attention when she was talking. I did watch the debates, you know what I'm saying? And Donald Trump did a lot of sticking his foot in his mouth. You know what I'm saying? However, <laughs> I still like him. And I didn't want Hillary to win. That's it. I didn't want Hillary to win. You know what I'm saying? And nothing anybody could say can make me dislike Donald Trump because it wasn't good enough. The so-called racism that Donald Trump exhibited was not racism to me. It wasn't the racism that makes black people fear. It wasn't the racism that shoots up nine people in churches. Donald Trump isn't that kind of guy. And even if he is, his game is so tight that he can hide it. But that's neither here nor, nor there. My whole point to bringing this up is the travel ban against the trannies. Did you, you didn't see it coming? You didn't see that coming. I mean, if Hillary would have won the presidency, what would have happened? Would she have let Barack Obama's order to allow transgenders to openly serve in the US military pass? Go on? Of course she would have, because that was her boy. You know what I'm saying? It was more of the same. And Barack Obama, <laughs> you know, he's not the first black president because he's just as black as he is white. So why wouldn't he be the first white president? Well, he's not the first white president naturally, but he's not the first black president. He's not all the way black. And his dad didn't have the same kind of struggle my dad with, but that was neither here nor there. Back to this travel ban on the, not travel ban, the, 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 the tranny ban. <laughs> the tranny ban. You can't stop it, baby. The tranny ban. Yeah, man. So, I mean, first of all, Barack Obama's order was to allow them to serve openly. Meaning, those that serve currently were not serving openly. As in, if they're there and they're transgender, they are technically illegal. And if I'm mistaken, please correct me. You know how I do love correction. 
So first of all, they're serving illegally. They're not supposed to be doing it. And then secondly, there was this one cat who ended up uh, having the my tax money, my tax dollars, my hard earned blue collar wage earning tax dollars pay for his penis chop. I don't appreciate that. Cash that yourself, you know what I'm saying, on your own dollar, on your own dime. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like your if you don't like your dick, tuck that shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I just find it funny how mad everybody is. Because I know plenty of people who are not transgender who don't give a fuck about the military. I mean, granted, thank you for your, your patriotism, thank you for your service, but they don't want to join. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to go and, 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 and kill motherfuckers. I'm not a murderer for whatever reason. I mean, granted, if you're messing with my children or messing with my daughters and my, and my mom, I'm going to whoop that ass. Fuck you up. But other than that, you know what I'm saying? I don't see myself really getting deep off of, uh, you know, fighting for uh, the United States because the United States hasn't done a lot of fighting for me. However, I'm not going to hold it against them. But at the same time, I'm not really trying to, uh, you know, jump in. Not to mention the fact that I'm old as fuck, too old to join the military. So, you know, it's, it's a 50-50 chance of death. You know what I'm saying? I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. The military service, I mean, I mean any job where part of your equipment is uh, carrying a gun, that's a pretty much dangerous job. You know what I'm saying? Like a police officer. Dangerous job. You know what I'm saying? A, a CIA agent. Dangerous job. I mean, these are people who have families and they leave their houses every day not knowing if they'll come home. That's not the kind of job that I want. Granted, you can walk out your house to get the newspaper or check the mail and not make it back. But you have a greater chance of doing it when you when your job requires you to carry firearms because that means that you're going to be shooting at somebody who might be shooting back so i just think i mean transgenders y'all need to uh count your blessings because i mean do you want to die i don't which is why i never joined the military you know what i'm saying i mean i'm 44 years old you know what I'm saying? I couldn't join now if I wanted to. However, 20 years ago, <laughs> I wasn't fucking with that shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I mean, I mean, is it the fact that you, it, it, I, so what is it? You just, you're mad because you can't? You're mad because you, somebody told you no? I understand. I don't like being told no either. If I meet a woman and I'm like, damn, baby, can I get your phone number? No. I don't like that shit. I don't like being denied women's phone numbers. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to die. Well, I might die getting a woman's phone number. But I, it, to me, it just seems silly. You know what I'm saying? I mean, pick your battles. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know. It, it, it's, 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 to me, it's really, really, really silly. But I mean, you're forgetting about the fact that, you know, one of the things that happen to military people is, is possibly death or being uh, maimed. You know what I'm saying? Mutilated, dismembered. You know what I'm saying? You might end up being like John McCain and you can't make the field goal sign. You know what I'm saying? You can't say touchdown. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I mean, you know, you, you really want that option? You know what I'm saying? I mean, you, 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 are, you were all born, or okay, when we're, when we're in the womb, we all start out female. And then a couple weeks later, you know, the chromosomes and the DNA switches up and then some of us become men. You know what I'm saying? Our, 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 our ovaries turn into testicles, our clitoris elongates and turns into a penis, and then some of us become men. Okay? So guess what? I was a woman once. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, now I'm not. And I'm cool with that. You know? And I, 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 I don't understand why you wouldn't be cool with what you are. I mean, no, I wouldn't. I don't understand that. I don't understand why you'd be cool with what you are because you've always been that. If you've been a girl, you've always been a girl. Your ovaries stayed ovaries in the womb. You know what I'm saying? You know, and now you're going to be a dude? 
Why? Because you think I got some special privilege? Let me let you know something. When I drive a car and I'm speeding, and I get pulled over by the police, I can't whip out my dick and say, hey, <laughs> male privilege, <laughs> can I, can I uh, avoid this ticket? <laughs> you know, but a woman might be able to pull out a titty and avoid a ticket. Might be able to show a little thigh and avoid a ticket. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, where's the male privilege? You know what I'm saying? <sighs> but I don't know, it's, it, it's crazy. So, I mean, why you want to be what you're not? I don't know. I, I think personally, this is what I think. I think, because I, I believe in God. Some people call it a fairy tale, a spook in the sky, whatever. Woo! But I believe in God, okay? So I believe that God is giving you a challenge, right? And it's your job to write it out. You know what I'm saying? God says it's wrong. You ain't supposed to do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Right? And so... It's a test of your mental strength on whether you're going to chase your desires or follow God's rules. Now, you have free will as a human being, so you can choose to disobey God, and that's your choice. That's your right. It's your constitutional right as an American to disobey God, and it's your universal right under free will to disobey God. And that's why God made hell for those who disobey and heaven for those who obey so it's your choice you can do what you want but remember at the end of life at the end of the day at the end of life you know what I'm saying for those that believe in God you know we know that you will be called to account so if God sent you out of the womb as a woman and you come back as a dude God's gonna be like uh Shirley yes Lord Wait, 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 that's not how I sent you to earth. I didn't send you to earth to be a man, I sent you to be a woman. Fuck. You know, I mean, you know, so it's like, it's, 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 okay, whatever, you know, do what you want. But, like I said, for those that believe in God, you know, it is what it is. And those that don't, hey, that's your prerogative, that's your option, but at the same time, it's, a, it's, it's still a gamble, right? It's still a gamble. So if, if you don't believe in God, and God exists. You're fucked. <laughs> and if you do believe in God, and God exists, well, all you got to do is follow the rules according to the book you subscribe to. Whether it's the Quran, the Torah, the Bible, you know, uh, you know I don't know all the books, but, you know, whatever book you subscribe to, I mean, you got to follow them rules. And that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't want to follow the rules, you don't have to, but <laughs> the option for not following the rules is term torment according to the book. You know what I'm saying? Now, if your book doesn't say that, then cool, do, do your thing. But at the same time, yo, he's the president. Barack Obama, he tried, okay, you know, and, and, and that's what he did for, for y'all. You know what I'm saying? He didn't do nothing for us, nothing for black people. You know what I'm saying? So enjoy him being the first gay president because he wasn't the first black president. You know what I'm saying? Maybe the first half black president. Okay. First African American president because his dad was African, his mom was American. Okay, makes sense. But, you know, at the same time, I, I, I laugh at this. You know what I'm saying? And this is this is this what you guys, you guys want to fight for? That's it? It's cool? You mad? You know? Well, how about this? Start a, start a training militia. Start a militia. You know what I'm saying? Go to the range, shoot and practice and show. Make a YouTube video and show how skilled you are. You know what I'm saying? You know, because I'm not going to try to diss nobody and be like, yeah, I'm going to be wearing camouflage high heels and then Louboutin, you know what I'm saying? Christian Louboutin, camouflage heels, you know what I'm saying? Steel toe, <laughs> steel heel. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to climb like that, but you know, to, it's, to me, it's, it's, it's funny. It's really, really funny. So I enjoyed it. I, I, I like watching people just get mad. And, you know, George Takei had a funny little tweet. I like him. I like Star Trek. You know what I'm saying? But I found humor in it. You know what I'm saying? Because welcome to the world of the African-American. Since you guys want to compare yourself to black so much. Welcome to the world of being excluded. How long have you been excluded? How many hundreds of years have the trans, the LGBTQs been excluded from America? 400 years? Have y'all been excluded from America for 400 years? 
Oh, you haven't? Then shut your ass up. You know what I'm saying? Get your own community. You know what I'm saying? Show that you can show that you're a part of America by doing for yourself. By having your own businesses. Make your own wedding cakes. You know what I'm saying? Have, start your own militia, your own gun club, you know. And and show America that you can do it without America. And then maybe America will say, you know what? I'll roll with you. Because if you show that you can do it on your own without help, then surely you can do it with, with, with government funding, right? But anyway, that's all I got to say. Like, share, subscribe, comment below. And if anybody doesn't like what I have to say, open your mouth and let me know how this dictates.